social media. <laughs> um, this could be the number one reason, in fact. Beware of fake Instagram accounts that claim you have won a prize. These days, people are less concerned about catfish. We remember the catfish days. I think it's still going on. Interesting. Ali was catfished. But cat- no, I wasn't catfished. No, you were impersonated. Person. Yeah. He was on the other side of the catfish. But I remember about 12 years ago, there was a documentary that came out called Catfish. And it was before the MTV show Catfish. But the same guy as Neve, the guy who does the MTV show Catfish, he created this documentary. And it was the first ever catfish that I'd ever seen. He uh, fell in love with this girl online. She was this artist. He and his friend, they documented the whole thing, traveled uh, cross country in the States to go and meet her. And it was a weird situation that he got to. And it turned out it was... um, It was like a <laughs> the definition of catfish. It was this um, kind of kind of sad older woman um, in a difficult family situation, oh. and it was the definition of catfish. And since then, since the MTV show and since dating apps, more catfish have spawned. However, we're less concerned about these, and we're more concerned about scammers on the internet trying to take your livelihood. We, as Love in Dubai, we have a very verified Instagram account that has a very thorough process for announcing competition winners. So in general, a winner is chosen. We ask them for their names and emails, and that's the only way we get contact information. We would never ask for bank details. We would never uh, contact people from a different uh, account. However, bots and scammers are messaging competition winners, pretending to be us with fake accounts and trying to take your money. And it's not just Love of Dubai. It's happening across the board. And it's just always worthy highlighting it. It's so sad because now when people actually win something, like the lottery, like the guy who just won the big ticket, he was so just skeptical about the whole thing because he's like, wait, is it a scam? Because every, every second person is getting scammed these days. So it's like when it's legitimate also, you question it because of these scammers. That's so true. <laughs> like the, the story, the, how much was it? 10 million dirham? He thought he had won. Yeah. And he didn't pick up the photo. He didn't respond at first to the messages because... He assumed it was a scam, even though he had entered the prize, <laughs> entered the competition. So like with everything, verifying and fact checking, it's actually not difficult. We have so many, when all of these, um, yesterday, what, two or three fake Love in Dubai accounts popped up? I think it's bots creating them and they message all of our competition winners with these fake accounts. And thank you to everyone who messages us because that's how we find out about them is people being like, hey, this is trying to scam you. Yes. Um, so we get these messages. Uh, but it's all about verification because a lot of people can see clearly that these are fake accounts because if you look at it, um, well, one of them, it'll be like official account. Okay. But uh, <laughs> no posts and the account doesn't have the blue tick and it doesn't say L-O-V-I-N-D-U-B-A-I. There's always like an extra I in there. There's an extra N. There's an extra underscore. There's an extra dash. So you really need to look out and then just check the feed. Does it have all our recent content? Because they don't. Yeah, it's amazing that you're... talking about this and bringing this up because a lot of a lot of the times when you you're, you have that rush of winning something mm. you just don't think of like checking double checking triple True. checking so uh, I mean that also if there's no awareness been brought about you really think it's legitimate and I think scammers are just leveling up by the day and soon they'll be get, uh, getting the verified ticks like buying the verified ticks or just like faking it too much yeah. stuff is, well the problem is they actually usually get shut down well luckily they get shut down quite quickly Um, but yeah, you're right. There are just sophisticated scammers out there, robots ruining our lives and your lives, <laughs> uh, scamming ev- or trying to replicate every Instagram account in the UE that does a competition. So just beware. Yes. It's not just us. It's everyone else getting copied and followed. And the most important thing is that you don't give your bank de- details because we would never ask for them. We don't give you links and we don't ask you for your, you know, your friend's phone number, which is they do in some cases. Literally, we just ask you for your name and email and then we move on, give you the prize, call it a day. Moving 